queens are trying to piece together how a man killed by a subway train ended up on the tracks. We know it started with a fight, and now the other man involved is in custody. Eyewitness News reporter Crystal Cranmore is live in Jackson Heights. Good morning, Crystal. Good morning. According to authorities, this is the ninth person dying in the subway system so far this year. This latest act of violence taking place inside the Jackson Heights Roosevelt Avenue station. According to police, it happened around 445 Monday afternoon. Police say 48-year-old Ari Berto Quintana accidentally bumped into another 50-year-old man, causing that man's cell phone to fall onto the train tracks. A fight erupted after that. Quintana ended up on the tracks. Police say a northbound F train heading into the station struck and killed him. He was later pronounced dead at Elmhurst Hospital. Authorities believe the two men were strangers. Detectives are reviewing surveillance videos and interviewing eyewitnesses to determine if Quintana was pushed onto the tracks or if he lost his footing during the fight. The latest act of violence has left commuters feeling uneasy. Now you got to think in the back of your mind, anybody that's standing around, you got to think like, would this person push me when the train comes? For anyone to lose their life over a fight, I mean, what is that? Do you feel safe? No, absolutely not. I'm getting goosebumps right now. I'm speechless. That's crazy. Now the suspect is in custody. Charges are pending.